Bum! Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with a anticipated follow-up video to my Astartes, not hacked, but illegal video. And now I will explain a little more for the, some of the loyal viewers of my channel who want to hear the truth. Um, first, a comment on deleting comments. Haha. <laughs> Uh, yes, I delete a lot of comments from my videos, and I delete comments that I deem to be made by professional posters and trolls. And other people can ask, well, how do you know who's a professional poster and troll? Well, there's two main ways to know. One is a long answer and one is a short answer. So I'm going to give you the, the long answer is I look at the analytics of the channel and I can figure out uh, who the fake posters are. And how I do that would be a long answer. The real short answer is when I get a notification that somebody has posted a comment and I get to that comment like one minute or two minutes or at the most five minutes later and I see that it already has six to nine likes instantly after it was posted this indicates to me that this is a professional uh, troll commenter um, who has zombie accounts following them around to give eight or nine likes immediately after they post. Especially when you go down to all the other 40 other comments in the channel. None of them, all of them have one or two, maybe three likes. But these few people who come in, all of which who absolutely hate the videos terribly, terribly, terribly much, uh, instantly have, you know, like I said, six to nine likes wow well for me uh that is a fake comment and i delete fake comments next um let's look at what i said in the video i said that these help me videos are fake that they are put out by some type of internet media scam uh, trying to blame YouTube and Patreon for something uh, illegal or improper or against the terms of service and use that the channel owner did. And now they're going to turn around and blame YouTube and blame everybody else for them doing something stupid and not wanting to take responsibility for it. That's what I said. I said these help me videos are a scam. And I thought that was really simple and clear. And I said when people tend to put up these help me videos, my channel has been hacked. That person, we usually find out later, has done something stupid and they weren't actually hacked. They just did something stupid, lost their channel, and then whine and complain about it. That's what we end up seeing. And it doesn't just have to do with 40K. It has to do with many channels end up doing it. Now, interestingly enough... Somebody came to my channel and thought they were defending this Astarte's channel and then posted the perfect video. Uh, he posted a link to a video called Mr. Crazy is Hacking YouTube Channels, which is on a channel called uh, YouTuber Prince of Fallen. And I went and watched it. Okay, because I don't just sit there and do clickbait. I'm trying to tell people out there who actually want to know the truth about what's going on. And I watched it, and bam! Another video which has basically said exactly what I said in the space of 10 minutes. Go watch it if you want to find the link. And here's what it said. First of all, you go through the first 30 seconds of the video. 
<laughs> and it said that this MK, BK4 channel and others, Viva FIFA or whatever, they went to a Russian website and downloaded Russian software as the vector for them being hacked. Okay, well... <laughs> do, do I even... Do you even need to justify that? If you have a channel and you go to a Russian software website and download uh, an insecure software onto your system from a Russian website and then turn around and say, I was hacked! And then you want five or six people to put out help me videos to, uh, uh, and want people to feel sorry for you? But it's not that simple. Because... I have actually had my um, Facebook page hacked. I had a uh, basically abandoned Facebook page, and I found out probably like a year after it was hacked that somebody else had been using it. Um, and I was able to get back control of that Facebook page just by... You know, saying, I lost my password, send me a new one, reset my password. Why? Because, and and it's even harder to do it in a Gmail account uh, or, or a Google account. Because you can't change the email on your account. You would not only have to log into YouTube, they would have to log into your Gmail. And you never really lose access to it because you can't change that okay I have backup emails that they send or, and backup phone numbers that they would either send me a text message to gain access or uh, change password or they send out a password saying you've uh, an email saying you've requested to change your password did you do this um, and you can't bypass that process unless they get access to all my phones and all my uh, emails and and then they can change the email on the account, but then, but then you can't even change that your Gmail account for your YouTube, I don't think, channel anyway. But never mind. I was easily able to gain my Facebook page back without needing to contact anybody. Apparently these people can't. And it even went a step forward. Not only can they not do it, their accounts were then suspended. The Patreon account was suspended. The YouTube channel was suspended. That's according to the Help Me videos, you fucking morons. Not me. So all these people out there said, What? What? Who said... Who said their their account was suspended? I can I can go and see it. I can see everything right here. I'm not the one who said it. The freaking help me video said, "Hi, my account has been suspended. I can't get back onto it. Please go and join this Twitter crusade and tell YouTube to unblock my account because it was done by a robot and I want a real person to see it." So all of these criticizing comments and they just, yes, they get deleted because either these people are shockingly stupid or they know what they're saying are wrong. Um, next, if you jump to, let's see, six and a half minutes into this Mr. Crazy Hacking video, you're going to get to the juicy, interesting part, which goes to prove the point of what I said in my first video. Somebody's doing something stupid for them to um, get hacked. Uh, this Russian software, they, they talk to Mr. Crazy, who they claim is the hacker. Now, most of the time, when somebody hacks your stuff, you can't go and talk to them and send them email and have a dialogue back and forth about why they hacked your site and can they get your site back and what's going on here. I've never seen anybody who's been hacked who's able to email out the hacker and have a dialogue about why did they do it. But apparently they can with Mr. Crazy. And Mr. Crazy says something very interesting. He says, you were not hacked. You entered an agreement. 
<laughs> using this Russian software where you gave all of the access information to your channel and this software and this company which you had to pay was supposed to illegally monetize your YouTube and Patreon and Instagram and other channels. Yes, you were paying somebody to take over your channel and put ads on it or use your channel to po upload their own videos in which they would then give you a certain percentage of whatever monetization, whatever scheme and scam they were working on these people gave away the information to their channels and whoever they gave it to ended up uploading videos that were against community rules and guidelines and their channels got suspended that's what it says in the Mr. Crazy video. Again, for any idiots out there who don't understand, that's not me saying it. That's in the Mr. Crazy video, which somebody posted as a comment in my video to say, go look, people really are getting hacked. Okay? If you... if. So anybody who sits down there and says, prove it, prove that this is happening, you're just going to get your comment deleted because you're too stupid to comment in my channel. Um, so this goes to what I said. These people aren't getting hacked. We find out they're doing some scam. They're doing some scam and it gets and it comes back and bites them in the ass and now they're out there with their emergency help me help me videos okay and I can tell you what YouTube and everybody says about this you gave away your channel information you voluntarily not just gave it away you paid somebody to access your channel and upload videos to it so that in the hope of illegally monetizing your channel when YouTube wouldn't do it. And now you're crying like a little baby and you want YouTube to kick those channel managers out to 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 um come in and save you. And when they don't come in and save you, you then go and pay again another internet company uh, uh, to go and create a help me please campaign and a Twitter crusade to try to convince uh, YouTube to do it. Everything I said in my first video has now come true just a few days later. Three days later, it turns out this is the truth behind all of it. Like I said, I have never seen people listing a help. I, my channel got hacked. And turn out that uh, it, it wasn't some type of scam. Okay, so uh, that's what happened. Uh, these people tried to illegally monetize their channel gave access all of their channel over to some Russians who took over their channel, uploaded um, illegal videos, and they lost their channel. And now they pay more Russians or Indians or somebody to start a Twitter campaign to try to get their channel back. They paid to do this. And I've got other videos out there talking about uh, all of these people who pay for their views and everything like that. And I have no idea why. There is no... I talked about this on, on, on years ago. There is no way somebody who did a game, you know, a, 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 some type of a bat rep, battle report, and has 200,000 views is just fake. And I proved it when G-plus was out there because you would have to pay 
for where you wanted your views. So back in the days when G Plus still existed, the, the videos that you uploaded to YouTube were simultaneously uploaded to G Plus. And if if and if you looked at my G Plus account and my YouTube account, you would notice that the views and the comments and the likes and everything like that were pretty much the same. But if you go to these channels that said, oh, I've got 50,000, 100,000 followers and 50,000 views per video, but you go to their G Plus account, they have less than 10 followers and only a few hundred views. Well, that's simply not possible unless you paid for all your views and followers in which case all those fake views and followers just went and just went on YouTube and didn't go uh, to your G plus count now I'm actually going to give you the long answer for how I know so many comments and views about my other video are fake it has to do with demographics this is where I can get it from the analytics okay when I look at my all of my other videos I've got like 470 videos coming out over the last six years I have a pretty standard demographic and a video profile okay who watches the video where they're from age range dot 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 everything like that so when I get a video that substantially different from the rest of my video profiles I can say well what happened here so this last video very different number one 95 percent of the views were from the United States and you'll say, okay, so what's the thing about that? Well, what's the thing about that is, is that this is a 40K channel, and there are lots of people who play 40K in Australia, and even more, uh, UK. And on average, my videos have 20 to 30% views from the UK. Not a surprise for a 40K Games Workshop channel. But this one video suddenly has only... Two to three percent of the viewers came from the UK. What happened there? How is that possible? Why is just everybody seems to be only seeing this from the US? Nobody from Australia, nobody from Canada, nobody from the UK, nobody from Asia, nobody from any place in the world. 95% only from the US. And here's the interesting thing I uploaded this video at four in the morning US time. Four in the morning U.S. time, and I had 100 views within one hour, with 20 comments, all saying how horrible the the video is. Again, pretty interesting demographic for a video that was uploaded on a Tuesday 4 a.m. morning to get 100 views and 50 something negative comments within 60 minutes it's safe to say that there is some form of internet uh, media campaign being paid for by the people who run the Astartes channel which again goes to tell me that there's a scam going on here uh, and the this Mr. Crazy video backs that up. So I don't know what's going on. I just know that it has to do with Russians and and fake advertising and people trying to get paid to make illegal GW videos. And no, <laughs> the Hell's Reach people didn't do that. Warp Gazer didn't do that. <clears throat> That's this channel, which again, <clears throat> as I said, also happened to be connected to the people who launched internet advertising campaigns for Eternal Crusade. So I'm not surprised that it's the usual suspects here trying to do more uh, internet scams, internet advertising, internet hyping. Um for substandard videos 
and in Internal Crusades ga case, substandard game. That is my follow-on video. I hope it makes more sense. I expect there's going to be a lot of um, negative reaction to this one, too, because it's a media campaign. Until next time. Ha-ha! <laughs> Bye. Hmm.